Hello, everybody. A very good morning to all of you. I am Deepshika Raina from Corn Masters, and today with us we have one of our students from Corn Masters, Shobit, who recently in September cleared Cognizant Gen C next exam as an advanced Java developer. Hardest congratulations to you, Shobit, from the entire team of Corn Masters. Thank you very much, ma'am. Thank you. How are you feeling? Very excited and awesome, ma'am. Best feeling in the world, I would say. <laughs> I can get that from uh, your facial expressions, right? Yes, ma'am. So, show bit. I want. Okay, let's start with uh, you telling something about yourself, uh, the background, uh, educational background, and uh, the college and department you're from. What 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 all have you done? Okay. Let's start with that. Hello, guys. My name is Shobit Gupta. Uh, I'm doing MCA course from Bangalore Institute of Technology (BIT), and uh, I will be pass out in 2022. Uh, and basically my native place is i'm from jammu and kashmir jammu so i have done my graduation and schooling all from jammu i am done my schooling from my jammu that's army public school damana and uh, my school my college bca bachelor of computer and application from gjm science college under cluster university and now i am doing mca in the bit as earlier i told so this is my short introduction about me where i have done education and all and uh, right now i am in bangalore only that that's so nice uh, shobit so i want to know like when somebody starts preparing for the interviews or any other exams so there is a strategy and actually this is a query of one of the students uh, they usually ask such kind of questions how did you prepare that uh, did you have any plan or did you just go with the slow uh, flow how was your researches and all uh, done like some but there are some people who refer their peers and there are some people who refer online and all sources so how did you go about this I'm actually, as I told it, I was passed from Jammu, and Jammu it, there is no much, so much exposure about it. So exactly. the so when I came to the Bangalore, and when I make more friends and interact with everyone, so everyone was doing very different things. They were practicing on hacker rank, geeks or geeks. They were doing competitive coding. They have different certifications and skills. And I got it just scared that I have done nothing here. How can I be get placed in some company? They are they have so much skill set. They have so much. Then one of my friend, he's he's from Bihar only. He's Shivam. So he guided me a lot uh, that you should start from it because he was already doing all the. Uh, he start. He said that you should firstly clear your basics, data structures because data structures is I think that this is the most important topic that if you don't know data structures, then in an IT field I don't think you can succeed. So then uh, he told me to succeed. Uh, you have you should cover the data structures and algorithm topic firstly. Then I started preparing from YouTube and Udemy and other 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 resources. I go to the Google and just uh, research it about the data structures and algorithm. And I started doing the data structures and algorithm. And uh, then after that, I started doing some little coding questions on hacker rank, geeks or geeks and lead code just to get more knowledge about that. Then around after first semester. Uh, then my placement officer, my placement coordinator of my college told me that uh, there is a placement training going on, uh, so you should join them. Because uh, earlier I haven't prepared anything about the aptitude. Uh, from my twelfth only, I just joined the BCA course, so I have never prepared for IIT, not prepared for any ND exams because I was not interested in all that. I want to go in the computer field only. So I haven't zero percent knowledge in aptitude. So when I joined the Coin Master, the basic reason what I wanted to learn is the aptitude because every company the first elimination round will be the aptitude round. So I wanted to join Account uh, Masters, and I have talked to my seniors also regarding whether it's good or not because everyone needs to do research before giving the payment, and we should exactly. join. Exactly. Yes. So my seniors told that you should go, and this is the best. I think they should. They have they have experienced they have experienced a very good things, and they told many good features about this. So I blindly trust them, and then I joined the Account Masters, and I started at morning six o'clock. The search uh, started the training, and I think that is the best thing. Starting the your day from six a.m. And then it's it's look like that. It's a very huge day. We have a lot to do in the day. So earlier I just wake up at 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. and then that then I feel that so much lazy in the whole day. And then I started learning aptitude there. And after that uh, technical sessions, I started preparing from the Shashanks and only there his notes and his training were very great. Uh, I think the technical interview, technical rounds of my cognition that I am able to clear that is only because of I think the Shashanks are only. I I was pretty confident to that. I know basics of C and basics of C plus plus. But when some questions in Shashanks are asked in the technical session, then I was like, bro, I saw it. Which was it's like that only. So uh, then I. Cleared many many doubts, many new concepts. I was able to learn from the Sashank sir, and this uh, then I prepared uh, uh, all the technical session of Sashank sir and attitude sessions and verbal sessions also. So this is the little bit like you have to be starting from this. I think you should start from the data sections only. That then you have to that when the data sections will be uh, strong, then you should go with the 
coding part because I think the higher packages they when go to the Amazon, Cisco, and Amazon, they will have a coding coding part there. And you have to be strong in the coding part, dynamic programming, PD techniques, and all that. You have to cover that. And then I started practicing on Geeks or Geeks and Hacker Rank. Okay, Shobit, uh, very well said. So, uh, Shobit, one of the queries of the students is like, uh, ma'am, we tend to spend more time on the subjects we love and uh, quite kind of neglect the subjects we do not like that much. So that's how you uh, actually are not able to balance between the subjects with the weaker and uh, stronger areas. So how did you manage it? How did you manage the time and how did you go about it? I want to know uh, the subjects in the journey of your preparation towards uh, the uh, interviews. Ma'am, uh, basically in the cognizant, I will rather talk about the cognizant only because uh, when the pre-placement talk has been done for the cognizant, in the pre-placement talk, they were mainly focusing on Java. Java developer, Java, Java, many things were on Java. And when they give the PDF of the all the criteria, JD of that cognizant, and in that also, my I wanted to join for the advanced Java developer role. So from that day, from the pre-placement talk, when it was over, so I decided to go for the Java. And also in my second semester, there was a Java course, Java full-time course in my MCA. And also in the third uh, third semester, I will have advanced Java course. So I decided to brush up all my things on the Java that my teacher has taught in my college. So I just started uh, getting up all the basics of JVM and basics of Java, all stuff. And also in the uh, Cognizant, there was a section of Java, what actually topics you need to cover, like collection frameworks, exception handling. So I just pointed out all the points that I need to cover for the Java. And I go to the YouTube and other, uh, other platforms. And I started studying about that and starting practicing about the Java only because I actually want to go in the Java Java role also. But for the technical assessment, it was not compulsory that you know should know Java. It's like Java or C++, but I want to apply for Java because I have applied for Java role only. So that's why I need to be a little bit strong about Java because they will definitely ask questions on Java. And so that's why I'm starting studying about the Java only. Exactly, Shobit. So you had a plan in mind. You had some yes, direction. We are very glad we are uh, like you students like you are a part of Quant Masters. You know, you right. shine with bright colors and bring laurels to us. So Shobit, uh, one more thing is like, uh, how did you like uh, go about the Java thing? First of all, you said that there was just Java thing and uh, you were also not quite aware of aptitude as well. Yes, ma'am. Right. So Java thing, you actually kind of conquered. You had the list with you. So how did you go about the aptitude thing, HR thing? How did you go about that? Ma'am, actually uh, in aptitude, uh, uh, cognizant doesn't provide, a, there is no round for aptitude. So I didn't, okay. yes, there was no round in the aptitude. It was only technical round, skill-based assessment for Gen okay. C next profile. But for Gen C profile, cognizant, they have aptitude section there, aptitude, verbal, and logical reasoning. So I haven't prepared for cognizant. I haven't prepared any aptitude for this. Okay. So now we'll come about, uh, come to this Gen C uh, next uh, brief. A short brief so how does it flow i mean how does the interview flow right from the first round to the last round um, i'm registration process start around i think 26th of august and 26th of july and uh, the last date for gen c next was around 3rd of august and i ever filled fill the form and the the platform to fill was superset and in superset you have firstly have to detail your all the all the details you have to fill up your application form and there was a very huge application it was not compulsory that you have to fill all the fields but there were some of the mandatory fields like your 10th education 12th education gaps in and skill sets resume and you have to upload your resume also so basic mm -hmm. profiling you have to do First, you have created your account on the superset. Then, on the job profiles, you can see that there was a set, there was a job profile like cognizant and next. You should there an apply button. So, by applying a button again, a small form will come in which it will ask various small details. We got major details. You have already filled in your application forms. Then you will have basically it will they will focus on your uh, skill sets basically advanced skill set, basic skill sets, certification for that skill sets. And what actually job profile you want to apply? The basic there were many job profiles like IoT engineer, Google engineer, cloud engineer, advanced Java developer, .NET developer. So I was interested in advanced Java developer. So I choose that advanced Java developer. And then you have uh, a, like basic skill set. So in the basic skill set, I have uh, written C, and they ask for the certification. Have you any done? So I have I have not done any particular certification in C, but I have my mark sheet in C, which I had a good percentage of C in that. So I uploaded mm -hmm. that my BCA mark sheet. For that semester, second semester mark sheet, and for ja, for that uh, for again uh, there was again option that you have second basic skill set, and I add add basic skill set of Java. Then it was like you are beginner or you have a hands of knowledge or you are experienced in that. So I you now wrote only beginner, and for that 
mark sheet i haven't uploaded any certification because right now i was only doing second semester i have to do the uh, java so i don't have certification and there was another section of advanced skill set so i have done i have done no advanced skill set in that and then last uh, there was a check box that whether your information is correct or not and submit button said so that in that day 3rd of august was the last date of applying after the apply then uh, after that apply i got the mail that you are uh, that you have filled up form successfully mm-hmm. now you can proceed then after a few days i the college tpu has shared the list of the students who got selected actually that this application form it was a first round of the cognizant selection it was a resume selection resume shortlisting so what resume you have uploaded what form you have done they will on the basis of that they will shortlist the students so i think almost uh, 500 plus students have filled the cognizant and all uh, in, out of that 300 or 330 students i got the list they have they have been shortlisted for the written assessment skill based assessment then that uh, out of 330 okay Uh, uh, sorry to interrupt shobit so there was this uh, cv uh, filtering yes ma'am cv filtering that i was also not aware of that cv filtering okay. and when the list came then they were your resume has been shortlisted for this profile and many of my friends uh, have some of the it, it was like you will not be fully rejected it depends upon your resume like if your resume is well set for your preferred look like i i have put for java so if my resume is perfect for that java role then i will be selected for gen c next and if i am okay. not eligible for java then they will give you mail that you are not shortlisted for gen c next then you will be eligible for the gen c elevate so you are okay. eligible for this. and there are some of the students also that do not eligible for not even gen c next and gen c elevate depending upon the profile that you have filled in the super set account so it was like that okay fine so shobit you also mentioned that there were some uh, skill sets that you have mentioned yes, so uh, along with the skill set does uh, any project or internships uh, need to be included while yes, filling it out was, the it was like that you have to you can fill it's an option that uh, like i have filled up seat and they will ask whether you have done in the c in you have done, used that uh, skill set in your project whether it's a college course but from where you have learned it was not particular about that because basically it was on the only basis of the resume when you will okay. apply for the particular job now so they will firstly ask for the selection of the resume but res- you can upload multiple resumes on the superset platform so you have to select one particular resume and op- on after that you will have 6 to i think 6 to 8 fields for further for filling fulfillment of the form and after that the submit button so basic i think the resume what you will upload is the basis of the selection for the resume selection criteria for the first round yeah exactly i think for the first round uh, like they uh, actually filter the cv right Yes, ma'am. Please, so, yes. I feel while filling out the form, it's very necessary to be alert and vigilant yes. about what you are filling because sometimes people will tend to for, tend to oh. forget what yes, they ma'am. have actually filled out. Exactly. So I think it's very much important that they pay attention to what they are writing actually in the form. Yes, That's ma'am. That's how you get selected or rejected for the next round or for another round, right? So yes. it's very important, students, that you fill out the form correctly and carefully. So one key takeaway I think uh, from the very first round is this. Yes, and uh, also you mentioned about the year gap show with yes ma'am so let's talk about that so ma'am in cognizant it was minimum 2 years gap uh, more not more than 2 year gap if you have a 2 year gap in your from 10th to i think graduation and all so they you are eligible but if you have 3 years gap then you are not eligible for this job profile so 2 years gap after 10th ma'am uh, because basic certification i yes ma'am after 10th if you have done 10th and then and then you have taken one year gap after 12th you have taken one year gap then it's okay because total it's two years gap but if you have taken two years gap more like after 10th you have taken one year gap and after 12th you have taken two year gap so it's total three year gap then you will not eligible for this so in total it should be two years gap yeah. after 10th class yes ma'am okay so uh, uh, so please throw some light on eligibility criteria as well so that students ma'am. actually get to know are they eligible or not yes ma'am and basic eligibility criteria was 60% 60% and more for 10th 12th and graduation it was basically okay. 60% and above and any field btech i think mechanical students and uh, civil students anyone can apply for this profile it was not mentioned any okay. particular profile it was just like btech/mtech/mca so bca so with 10th 12th and graduation marks as 60% and above okay and also shobit you mentioned that uh, for a particular i wanted to go for java only so i had that particular skill set in my mind and i worked on that only so i think it becomes imperative for the students who are actually going want to go for a particular role to actually mention those skill sets only because they filter out on the basis of that yes ma'am exactly right and if you are going for java role and you mention only c it's not <laughs> mandatory that you should have a java have java knowledge 
but it's like you get an edge over another students right yes. because out of 500 only 300 something got selected fine fine show bit so uh, since you have given a brief about all this i hope students get some basic idea how gency actually flows so uh, let's talk about uh, the first round what was the first round the uh, first round was skill based skill based assessment and it was on the 14th of august and and it was timing was 6 to 9 and it will basically have two rounds two on the uh, on the pdf it was written it was have two rounds section 1 and section 2 section 1 will have mcqs almost 20 to 25 but in my it was 25 mcqs and it was basic mcqs it was not that much hard to say it was if you have a basic knowledge and if you, if you are preparing for a particular company with the proper subject sets what they have given then you can easily crack that round it was 20 to 25 questions it was on java basics of java basics of pseudo code snippets of the codes were given you have to check for the mcq the code was given algorithm was given and then code was given you have to check for the uh, perfect code according to that particular algorithm error checking was little bit there and then you have questions on html css basic questions on html css what is the output of the code what this tag means and uh, then you have questions on dbms also because they have already mentioned the syllabus and within the syllabus they have asked the question that was only basic level easy question i would rather i think i i was getting that easy because i have uh, prepared from the sir only shankar and they have in the dbms section where they have taught all the questions are from there i have covered all the sections from the con master portal only so i was easily able to crack that round section 1 and after this it was for 40 40 40 minutes and after that there were three sections more and to the coding basically it was overall i would say at the same for section 2 that will have coding question and it will have six coding questions that are equally divided into two three sections each section okay. will have two coding questions so okay. section uh, from the section 2 that is two coding question uh, one question was on the gp series and i was very easily able to do that and second question it was on graph so i was not sure that i was able to do that so i didn't attempt that question because i was not strong in the graph section so then in the section number 3 and it was about uh, strings and in the strings it was two questions on that and that was also on the median level i would rather say not easy uh, one was question was easy on that question that was basic on the strings like you are given a string is a full string and you just have to remove the spaces and you have to return the string so it was a basic easy question and second mm-hmm. question was finding the uh, substring from the given string so it was a little thinking think, thinkable question but it was easy if you have if you have worked on the basic coding questions then you can So, but uh, out of these four portions from the section two, I I was able to do two portions with full all the test cases, and uh, one portion with the half of the test cases I was able to do because that was a substring portion. Maybe some of the test cases I was not able to clear, and also I can't see the test cases which I not able to clear. So you have to be your mind should be so broad that if there some test cases are not able to be cleared, then you should be able to think on that test cases. And uh, last uh, section three, la- la- last last. there are some hidden test cases as well yes right? ma'am yeah hidden test cases that 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 i was not able to clear in that that fourth question okay no i yes ma'am and the last round was last uh, was dbms it was two big questions mm-hmm. on that i was only able to do one big question actually ma'am the issue was in the test was the metal platform na that was not so much good for that server issues were so much there so the test started at 6 and had to be end by 9 so my test started at 7:15 so from 6 okay. i was try to log in i was and i when 6 till 6:15 6:20 i was not able to log in so i got so much frustrated i called tpu and, and i have called to various number that were provided so i got mm-hmm. totally mm-hmm. depressed that i have preparing for this company since a long period of time and why i am why this happens to me so at 7:50 i at 7 i was totally my hope was totally lost that i have been not able to complete this test then at 7:15 uh, howsoever i it was able to log in and when i start logging so i was in very fast i have to do because i think that but time was okay but at 8:40 8:40 45 the code was not able to compile properly this was a little issue many students got this issue because of this issue only the cognizant arranged the retest for this again because many okay. many students from all over the country all of the country got this issue and at last in the dbms section the code was not able to compile you can't see the output properly and some students of my friends from my same college in the, the when, because they have started also late because of technical issues so when they were compiling the code the code was not able to compile properly so this was little issue that i have faced and many of my friends maximum i have talked to many of the friends everyone got some some or other issues in that so this was the overall so it it was having 40 questions of mcq on the basis of java html css and dbms and six coding mm-hmm. questions four four coding questions on basic data structures and algorithm and two coding questions on dbms case studies okay fine show bit so as you mentioned that there was a time slot of 6 to 9 Yes, ma'am. So within that time slot, you have to log in any time. Was it like that, or you had to log in at six and end by nine? 
six and ended by nine minutes for three hours test. But I started okay, at so, seven fifteen, so the timer was running at for three hours. So you can be finish it by ten. Maybe that was due to the technical issue, yes, ma'am. But at nine, some of the students got in, got the issue that code was not able to compile. But some of the students got able to finish by nine thirty and ten also. That have logged in late. Okay, okay, fine, yes. fine. So whoever logs in late or have some issues, they will loan. They will also get three hours of yes, uh, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. They will also get. Three hours. Okay, okay, fine. So uh, after your first round, when did you get intimation for your next round? Ma'am, fourteenth was my written examination and uh, mm -hmm. and. Nineteen, nineteen. Dot got my mail that I have been shortlisted for Gen C interview, and uh, for twentieth, twentieth, uh, I got the mail that your interview will be scheduled soon. So kindly be ready. And from nineteenth only, I started preparing for the interview. And uh, on twenty fourth of night uh, at ten eleven p.m., I got the mail that on twenty fifth you have an interview at three thirty to five p.m. Twenty fifth, right? Yeah, twenty fifth of August. So you got a good amount of time. Like yes, ma'am, I got a. Some of my friends didn't got the on nineteenth they got the interest and on twenty they have the interest. It was like okay. that also. <laughs> so it 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 actually varies for every student. Yes, right? ma'am. It varies from student to student, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, fine. So I think Jammu Kashmir was uh, quite <laughs> far for them. That's why it took time. Maybe. <laughs> okay, so wait. So let's talk about your next round. What was it? Yes, ma'am. Uh, on twenty fifth it was an interview round. So interview started at three uh, thirty was the time and three forty I got the mail. It was also on the SuperChat platform and it was it was good. Uh, they they have an inbuilt compiler and inbuilt the code. Uh, like if we can do coding there also. So they, I got a call and then I pick up the call. Audio video facilities or everything was good. That though there was no network issue because I was expecting a network issue again. They had this place only, but it was quite good. And three forty and uh, she asked me to. introduce yourself and i started introduction introducing myself it was basically my technique also because i am good in my music so i have a 10 years experience okay. in 10 in 10 years experience in music and 5 4 to 5 years experience in violin playing so uh, it was my technique that if i will start my introduction and after giving the 50 to 30 30 seconds of introduction then i will add my hobby skill as music then definitely interview will continue on that topic only and that will help me a lot so that's that is the, that is only happened to me only then i asked uh, then i told in my interview that i have experience of 10 years in music and all that then she was little so interested and uh, one thing that's actually a uh, you know a right move you <laughs> yes, actually get to drive your interview <laughs> Actually, ma'am, this move I have learned from him, Himanshu sir, because in one of the aptitude class at last, he told that interview is driven by you. You should drive your interview. The interviewer should not drive your interview. So it was on that exactly. at that yeah at that day I already said it that I my introduction should be like that. Whole interview should go on my introduction only. So I, at the That's last, I nice. used some music point, and uh, she ten to ten ten minutes we have a discussion on music from where you have mm -hmm. done. Then she also had what impact does he have on your studies. You can focus on your studies. Then she asked everything about that and, and that. Okay. Then after the introduction part, then she asked little two to three HR questions like whether you are able to uh, move to the relocate to the different locations. And uh, she was asking whether you can do night shifts also if you if you are given a chance to do night shifts. And then she asked me to give a situation like you are in a college and you have to organize a technical event. in your college so how will you organize the technical event have you ever done any organization of technical event so she asked a little bit about at that little at that question regarding this <laughs> sorry then after that uh, she asked uh, what are the courses in your mca so i asked all the courses then she asked what are the future courses that you are going to be study what are the future subjects you are going to be study in mca then i asked uh, told her all the courses then when my basically my first semester i have a data sets and algorithm so she asked that uh, you have a first semester you have studied data sets and algorithm so i told her yes ma'am i have studied data sets then she asked that we will discuss on the data sets and algorithm part then she asked basic questions for not that much complicated that i was scared of then she asked about arrays and linked lists what is the difference between arrays then we have a 5 to 10 minute discussion on arrays only why why arrays is more good what is the basic difference whole discussion that she wanted to know that whether i have a good concepts on array and linked list then she asked mm -hmm. two to three questions on that then after that arrays and linked list then she shifted to then she asked about java because java was a major major my profile then she asked mm -hmm. what is the difference between java and c++ what is the features of java then i asked the features of java then she asked me to how how a little explain on the features of java then on the algorithms part she asked me linear search binary search what algorithms you have done 
So then she asked me the quick sort algorithm to explain the quick sort algorithm code, code uh, according to programmatic programmatically. But you don't have to write the program. Just uh, make me understand the program in your own words. So I just make him understand. Then she told that yeah, that's good because I have already done the quick sort algorithm. And then after that, Java basic question, JRE, JVM, JDBC, and basic Java question. It was not that complex. Basic question she asked on the Java. And I, at, at the end, she asked about the one coding question, and we have a 20 minute discussion on that coding question. And then the code, that coding question was on collection framework from the Java only. Okay. Uh, it was like uh, she asked me to, it was not on a collection framework. She started to, she started, she asked me that you are studying the MC course. So you have to get the all the courses details from the user and display the courses of your MC. So I started with the array that I have inserted the various codes of the because we have the subject code for the uh, arrays for the subjects. So I inserted then she got yeah, I just okay. Now she changed the question and she either now I don't want the code. I don't want the subject code. I want to be it as a name of the like you the user entered data structure. So data structure will be displayed if you have a Java. So you so mm -hmm. then I. Then we have a discussion, ma'am, should I use string? What should I do? So it was a little discussion on that. It was like, if I am not able to do something, then she's a little bit helping in by that. Then I started, then I told him that, ma'am, we should, we should do collection framework. Then she told him, yeah, this is the right approach. You should do collection with the collection framework. Then I use the array list, string array list. I started doing the coding. And when I done the coding, then she was like, yeah, this is the right logic that compile the code. When I was when I was doing the compile, the code was not able to compile. So mm -hmm. there was a, maybe that was an error in the compiler or whatever, but is it because that code I have after the interview I have compiled in my Java that my Visual Studio code, then it was able to run. Then the interview, she already could herself told that there may be some like compiler glitches, but I just want to see basically the interviews is it's not like that on the syntax. The main motive of the interview is to check that what approach you can able to see. So exactly. we have, yeah, we have a 20 minute discussion on that basic, basic question. So she just want to test that whether I am able to think on the various aspects, various this is scenarios of the coding whether my approach is good or not so she liked my approach and at last uh, of the interview my basic actually my java java it was the role was the advanced java developer and she asked little more questions on java also that i was not able to answer so at last she told me that your basics of java is good but you have to little bit more pressure from the java and she complimented mm -hmm. me that you are you have a good strong knowledge on data success and algorithm because all the questions she asked on data success and algorithm i remember that i was able to answer all and with the good examples and she was quite impressed with that so then after that she asked me that whether you should have you should you have any questions on me uh, for me and then i asked that uh, ma'am i have one only one question that why the role is Gen C? Why? What is the meaning of Gen C actually? So then she smiled and she uh, she told that Gen C is basically about the new generation that new students are coming into our company for the new generation. It's for like. Then she said, okay, it was nice talking to you. And then thank you. Then I wait for the superset platform. And after after I think uh, hardly five to, two to three minutes, I got the mail that your interview has been completed. Kindly wait for the further step. Don't get log out. Then uh, mm -hmm. around five, five I got the mail that you uh, now you can log out from the superset platform. Your interview has been done. Then I log out from the superset platform. It was on the 25th of August. Then I was waiting, and many of my friends from the other colleges that they, they were also going doing the interview. And after the interview, after the two to three days, they were getting the HR mail, HR interview. Okay. So mm -hmm. uh, it was almost ten days. I didn't got any HR mail that you heard then I got a little bit tense that why I'm not getting that maybe I'm not selected for that because when the some students who got the interview on 30th and on the first also on within two to three days they were getting the mail for the next round okay so mm -hmm. from the 10 days I have I haven't got any so I was very tense and I have lose again the hope that I was I'm not selected in this so I have been rejected and I started start started studying for the other companies and other stuff then on uh, I think third of uh, September I got the mail that uh, you have an interview uh, for the 4th of September. It was not, they haven't mentioned any of that, that it is an HR interview, it is a technical interview. But uh, mm -hmm. earlier I have talked with the, many of the friends, so I got to know that this is my HR interview. Then on okay. morning, it was like 10.30 to 12. And uh, I joined at 10.30, 10.20 only. And my interview started at 11.40, 45 or almost. With okay. The last 15 okay. minutes and 20 minutes were left. I joined at 11.40, 45. It was basic. It was not an HR interview. It was basic document verification interview. She asked me to whether you have pan card. I have, I just I have I was on the laptop and I shared the screen and she take the screenshot of the my pan card, my Aadhaar mm -hmm. card, tenth tenth mark sheet and twelfth mark sheet. Then after okay. that she asked me, do you know any foreign languages? So I told her, no, ma'am, I don't know foreign languages. I only know Hindi and English. Then she showed that if you want to learn foreign languages, would you able to learn? I said, yes, ma'am, I would love to learn foreign languages. 
then mm. she told that okay no issue uh, you can only make a anything else for me but she told her no you can exit from the platform then i again waited for 10 to 20 minutes because again i got the mail that kindly wait your interview has been done kindly wait for that then after uh, hardly 10 to 15 minutes i got the mail that your all rounds of cognizant and next profile has been done successfully now mm. your results the final results will be shared with your tpos and uh, kindly wait be patiently and wait for the uh, results then on 9th of september i think uh, i have written that now 10th of september from the tpo i got the mail that uh, mail down the final selection of list and uh, 11 students were selected for gen c next and uh, almost 20 students were selected for gen c elevate because in the gen c next uh, students uh, who have given the gen c next skill based assessment after the skill based assessment you are eligible for the gen c next interview and after the interview if you, there were three chances if you are very okay. good means you are up to the mark for the interviewer okay. then you will be selected for the gen c next and if you are average not that much good then you will be selected for the gen c next uh, gen c elevate sorry and if you are not up to the mark and you have not that much skill set then you will be rejected and then you can't, can't apply for the gen c role it was like that okay so there are this levels that yes, if you perform well you go for this role gen and c if next, you yeah. perform Average so that you go for another role okay and last was if you are not able to perform good you will be rejected and you can't apply for any gens and yes uh, one more thing i'll uh, tell uh, shobhe that uh, students usually get test uh, tense we actually find it in the comment section that ma'am i applied for it uh, i think i should have been selected but i didn't get the mail and all you know so such kinds of comments do float and i feel to the students i would like to say that it depends and varies from person yes, to person like we have a live example here shobhit who received exactly. it i mean all late right? yes i'm done 12 to 15 days i think yeah so you had to wait quite a long uh, than your friends yes ma'am okay so to all the students who are actually uh, you know waiting for the replies I, i think you need to just have some patience because you will get it sooner or later so uh, shobhit one more thing you said that uh, uh they actually checked you uh checked you on your concepts yes, in your technical round so uh i want to know one thing whatever was mentioned in your resume did they ask from that or uh, out of that out ma'am they she didn't open my resume i was expecting i was totally prepared for my resume I, she can ask any question but she didn't open in my resume uh, i don't know why it's like that maybe it was because of my introduction and my the discussion on the data structures and algorithm topic she didn't uh, she maybe it was like that if you are if basically it was only like that but i have uh, um, i have learned from the many of my friends interview and my interview that it's only that starting of 10 to 10 to 15 minutes of your interview if it if you are in the starting of 10 to 15 minutes of interview if you are able to impress the interviewer then your interview will be gone very according exactly. smoothly and according to you but in the starting if you are not able to perform properly and you are not able to impress and uh, stand on the expectations of the interview then she or he will definitely ask more and more questions and will try to make you <laughs> down a little bit so it was like yes, no resume exactly. question she didn't open my resume she didn't ask any question on my projects i have done four projects so she didn't ask any of the questions on my project no questions on the resume okay shobhi so do you think projects internships uh, having a particular skill set does play a role in uh, yes, all the sections you want to go in yes ma'am yes ma'am it really i think this uh, resume selection has been done from the cognizant first part if i think i haven't done any project on that particular my resume then i think i will not be eligible for the gen c next profile maybe i got eligible for gen c elevate or if i have done zero resume no i have no sorry i have done no project then i will i would be rejected because from that only maybe four i have done three to four projects and i have written four three to four projects in my resume that's why i'm able to uh, select in the gen c next for the next skill based assessment so internship as well as projects are the most important thing that you have to do if you are not don't, so much strong then you should at least you should have two to three mini projects in your resume because it plays a huge vital role in your for the selections were you asked about the projects in uh, your technical round no ma'am no 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 questions on no. from resume no questions you got lucky yes ma'am very lucky <laughs> <laughs> okay so much so uh, to the students who are actually watching our video right now i think uh, your uh, resume in in that your resume you need to put your projects yes ma'am and put those projects or internships only and skill sets only that you actually know don't just yes, put it to blabber out anything in the technical round because interview uh, will get to know eventually because they have taken interviews of lots and lots of students so they can yes. read it from your face and that five minute introduction of yours right so with yes ma'am also one of my friend had same inter- had interview on the same day and she mm-hmm. had almost uh, five to more than five to six question on her resume and on her project specially 
why you have used this function, what functions you have used on your project also. So if you had fake, if you had had fake resume, fake project on your resume, definitely they will catch you. Definitely, Shobit. So you you have actually uh, mentioned everything about you have covered almost everything about the rounds and uh, the brief and everything. So yeah. any tips and suggestions for the students who will be preparing for Gen C next or elevator any uh, exam uh, cognizant. Yes, ma'am. For cognizant, uh, you should, I think, if you are preparing for cognizant, then you should look up for the syllabus for that. What they have mentioned in the syllabus, they only ask from that syllabus, and it's very easy to prepare from that. And uh, mm -hmm. I have just uh, read all the syllabus, and I have made a two to read two to do, do list for that. And if you will, if, if you have a good plan, if you have a proper plan that I will take these days to complete this topic, then you can, I think, for not for the cognizant company, for any company, you have to make a proper chart proper planning you have to do you can't do like today i will do this then tomorrow i will do this you have a proper you should for a particular company like if one week after you have getting some company like say Accenture or any further company then you should know what are the proper subjects met subjects they are covering what are the proper rounds of that then according to the round according to the time you have you have to divide that into the time and you have to cover that topic properly because it's i think it's an easy but many of the students they don't do according to the plan and that's why they are not able mm -hmm. to track up any particular company so if you are dedicated enough and you are doing you are able to do hard work then it's very easy so you should i think you should make a proper plan of a particular company that is coming but before that you should be basic you should be strong on your basics basic of aptitude i think aptitude you should be basic because aptitude i cognizant doesn't have down but maximum of the companies have so basic you should have cover on the aptitude basics of c language and c plus plus basics of data success and algorithm you should cover and then you should target a particular company which company you are that is coming in your campus and according to its labels according to its round you have should have a proper plan for the number of days that you have and according to plan you can easily crack that one exactly so thank you uh, for sharing your interview experience with us actually we are so glad uh, to you. announce this that you got selected for gen c and uh, we are so happy that we could play a part in your selection in gen c yes, next. Definitely. so uh, to all the students who are actually preparing for gen c next or elevate and are looking out for some information i hope this video helps you in all the rounds uh, thanks to everybody and all the very best